Hello everyone, I am Sue Broom and I am here to do the weekly angel card reading for the week of March 2nd through 8th of 2020. So March 2nd through 8th. And I'm using my two decks of cards, The Desert Speaks and Angels Are Everywhere. And you can get those on my website, suebroom.com. It's the only place you can get them. So as I'm shuffling, I would love for you all to hold the intention in your hearts that the perfect cards are coming up for everyone, no matter when they are seeing this, and that it speaks to their soul. I'm pulling one card of the Desert Speaks to anchor, kind of be the anchor card for the week, and then three cards from the Angels Are Everywhere. And also as I'm shuffling, if you'd like to click the like button, the subscribe button, click the bell, and you'll get notified every single time there is a new video put out there. And share this with your friends. If you have someone that you think would be inspired to see these videos, please do share it with your friends. It does, it does help me just get the word of the angels out. I also... There was another thought, and it's gone now. So, okay, so as I'm shuffling the angel deck, the first card came out. I'm watching for the second card. There is, this, oh, I know what I was going to say. If you want to see me reveal the cards live ever, and you have a chance, join my Facebook page, Empowerment for You, or any of my, uh, do I have a Subram author? Um, Empowerment, the number four, you, is my Facebook page, and that's where I initiate, and then I share it to many other pages, and you can see me actually live reveal the cards, and then I hang out with people who's ever around for a few minutes afterwards and do some readings and chit-chat and have a lot of fun. All right, so I am holding the cards now <sighs> to my high heart area. And I've already called in the angels. I have already set the intention for the perfect cards for the week of March 2nd, 2020. So let's see what the cards are. Okay. All right, so let's see what the cards have in store for us this week. The first card for, this is from the Desert Speaks, and this is the one that anchors the energies for the week for us, is, ooh, stand your ground. How interesting is that? This is one where, so standing your ground, and yes, that's a, it's an actual, I think it's a, a red beetle, beetle something that is, it was in southern Arizona when this picture was taken, and I have seen actual pictures of them. He really was that red, and he really did have little black feet and those black eyes and the black antenna. He was very cute. He was actually very cute. But think about this, stand in your ground, stand up for what it is that you know to be true in your heart. Not what is the person next to you is saying, not what the news is saying, not what you've read in a book, unless it feels true to your heart, true in your heart, truth for you. That's the part where it's truly standing your ground. Doesn't matter what anybody else says, doesn't matter what anybody else feels, it's what's right for you, and stand up for what it is you believe in, what it is that is truth for you. And it doesn't mean that you have to go share it with the world if you don't want to, it just means standing and holding true to your truths no matter what's going on around you. As the, the, as the world is shaking, as they say, all right, I have to see which one's in, in the order. So I have to pick these in the order. We, are, oh, we enfold you in our arms. So that's telling me that as we're standing our ground, the angels are supporting us. I feel like this is our angels and our guides and our loved ones on the other side. They are just unfolding us. Like they're standing behind us and their wings are coming around us. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
And it's really interesting that I, I haven't worn these angel wings in a earrings in a long time, but that's what it feels like. It's like, oh, these angel wings are coming around as we unfold you in our arms to support us as we stand our ground. Ooh, wow. All right, let's see what else we got. Mother Earth breathes. Ooh, I love this. Because Mother Earth needs our support as well. And yes, as we stand our ground, this means also not only for what is right for us, but what is right for Mother Earth. What is it that we believe is true for Mother Earth? And there's a lot of stuff that we as humans have been doing for a long time. And our, some are slowly awakening to, oh, you know, I, I shouldn't be doing this. So really, what else is right for you that also connects you with Mother Earth. Now the other day I was sitting outside and this is so wonderful to do anytime is when you want to collect yourself just go sit outside and just notice your breathing and allow it to connect with allow your breathing and your heart energy to connect with Mother Earth and see if there's if you can notice your rhythm change because I feel like we get in sync with Mother Earth when we allow ourselves to do that. And the last angel card, trust in who you are. And this goes, how perfect is this? It says, us standing our ground, knowing that we have angelic support and support from the other side, we have Mother Earth energy support as well as we're supporting her and trusting in who we are moving forward in our journey on our paths and when we stand our ground how wonderful it's going to be an interesting week it'll be fun to watch and see what this week unfolds like so if you're watching this on youtube make sure and click that like button share it with others and thank you so much i'd love to hear your comments about how the week unfolded for you angel blessings to you Thank you for joining me this week. And if you like this video, again, please click the like button and share it with your friends. Subscribe and click the bell. And also, if you want to see me reveal the cards online in real time, join my Facebook tribe, Empowerment for You. I also do have a Facebook group called Angel Talk with Sue. So make it a great day. Angel blessings to you.